All right, so uh, I mentioned the other day I got to short my drive shaft in my uh, Willys, the front one. We'll kind of get you through it, show you what you got to do. So if you look at the drive shaft, because we're not putting in a jig or anything, if we were to cut this one here, because it's on the long end, it's got more chance to wiggle right here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this in, um, and we'll square the tube up and everything, and we're going to take about an inch off. So let me go ahead and show you show you what's involved there. So basically I got a piece of angle iron here. I'm going to hold it kind of flat. Um, and I'm going to put this towards the middle of this, uh, this end here. And uh, basically I'm going to put it right in the corner. Do a scribe. Then take this. And do a scribe that's in line. And then that way I can just mash those two up when I put it back together. So when you cut this, this tube is they're usually about 120 or 160 or 190 thick. So basically you're gonna kind of like look at your eye. You're gonna go right down the center of the weld, you're gonna look at your eye from the side. And you're gonna try to go about that much below the surface. If you go a little more, it's not the end of the world. Um, it'll still work. You just keep working your way around. I don't know if you can see that, but if I put something white up to the back. You can see that you're cutting through the weld, but you're also cutting through a bit of the thickness of the tube too. So the best place to do this is on the ground. Get yourself up just a little bit and you, you want to kind of hit right here and see if you can split it apart. If not, you gotta do a little bit more cutting. See it's starting to split. That's what you're looking for. And there's your end. I gotta wait here, but I'm not really worried about it because it's a front drive shaft. So I'm not too concerned about putting that weight back on. So this is almost prepped. All you have to do is chamfer the edge a little bit and uh, you're ready to go on this piece. All right, so we're ready to mark this. So best way to do it, let me start with it moved up a little bit. Just to wrap this, bring these around, make sure everything's flat, and you gotta match them up. And that'll give you a nice straight cut. But they gotta be matched up. See, like that. And then I'll measure it. I think I'm going about an inch. Perfect. And then you just follow the edge of that paper. All the way around. All right, we're ready to do some welding. Bad part is I only got four rod. So this could be a short video.
Ugh. GoPros can be such a pain in the butt. It is hard enough to film stuff uh, without your camera shutting off and constantly have giving you issues. Uh, and I don't know if the 9, uh, because it's uh, it's been my go-to camera for like my handheld, but I don't know if it's the processor or all or what, but it constantly shuts off on me. And if it's got less than 50% in the battery, you might as well just switch it out. Because 30%, like 35%, it's, it just shuts off almost every time and that's pretty standard among most of the GoPros that I have uh, So that kind of sucks, but anyway back to work All right, so my drive shaft is officially shortened and I'm gonna go ahead and throw a u-joint in it and put it back together and finish this job out Of course splicers always If you can if you can't, just get a U joint that doesn't have uh, a grease port because they break a lot easier. sets of snap rings. I don't know what the difference is. I guess we'll find out. If you're asking why I haven't gone to U-bolts yet, it's because this isn't really supposed to be a wheeler. It's just supposed to be a daily driver. So. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video on shortening a front drive shaft and uh, we'll see you next time here on the channel.